It was a culmination of months of investigations by the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department and the Mount Vernon Police Department's Narcotics Unit. This morning, those agencies served 15 arrest warrants. News 3's Rachel Gartner was there and she shows us what happened. Mount Vernon and Jefferson County law enforcement joined forces with ATF and U.S. Marshals to conduct arrest and search warrants. Mount Vernon Police Chief Trent Page and Jefferson County Sheriff Jeff Bullard were on site for the initial search warrants. Bullard says working with the U.S. Marshals on initiatives like this one has its benefits. They have great resources for tracking wanted people and we have several wanted people we're looking for today and they're a great resource to use and to work with to apprehend these individuals. Ann Bullard says because these criminals are often connected or communicate, the surprise tactic is often a useful method of operation. The ability to be able to hit multiple targets at once and work together like we've did this morning, many times it's crucial to be able to recover evidence at multiple locations, to be able to catch uh, these wanted individuals before they get tipped off and can flee. So it really has worked well this morning. Detective Corporal Troy Hales with the Mount Vernon Narcotics Unit says these arrests are associated with felony narcotics cases or buys, and several led to further search warrants to be applied. Some of the arrest warrants led to additional search warrants for search warrants for residents, um, and at that we've just about in every single house we've come up with additional stuff. Um, so and it's always productive when you're coming up with additional stuff. A total of approximately 15 arrest warrants were served, and due to the nature of these arrests, Hale says it's proof that the law shouldn't let up on narcotics. I think this shows that we need to um, drive forward on charging the narcotics related stuff as it leads to other stuff. It leads to your shootings. It leads to your burglaries. It leads to all other crimes. I mean, that's been proven. We need to push forward with charging narcotics in the way that we have been charging them and not letting up. Reporting in Jefferson County, Rachel Gartner, News 3. Both agencies pointed out serious legal work and strategic planning goes into a sweep like this one. The agencies involved say they're very conscious of constitutional rights and the process necessary for these warrants and the arrests to take place.